disembodied spirits. This one can sound really freaky. Um, my belief about this right now is that a disembodied spirit is very similar to an entity. It's almost something that we create. Um, it's like a hologram. It's often the presence of somebody that we have created. My perception of somebody's presence or um, even the energy of a place becomes something that I then shape into um, a personhood almost, like a hologram. Um, I will often find inherited disembodied spirits um, in people. And this would be when there was such a strong person in a, in a family with such a strong um, presence that the family then creates this idea or that person that passed it on creates this idea about this, this say, father or mother um, that kind of encapsulates their energy. And this energetic imprint is what gets passed on. And literally, the family can literally feel haunted or the person can feel haunted by this presence of a person that has long since passed. But they're not haunted by the actual person. They are haunted by the energetic impression of that person that has for some reason been carried through the family. This isn't always inherited. You can... Um, I have actually personally found one in myself that was from a place, from a house we lived in. The house had a very strong energy and we lived there when I was um, a toddler. But because I was very sensitive to the energy, the only way my subconscious could interpret it was as um, a personal entity. Um, this was an energy that was left by people and I translated it as a spirit um, and this and I then attached this energy to myself maybe to try and make sense of it maybe to try and understand what is going on um, I mean obviously as a toddler you kind of go this house has bad energy because bad things happened here to me it was just there's a bad person here and I carried that presence with me. Um, then when I found it, it was very easy to release, very easy to release the emotions that I had absorbed from the house we lived in. Um, and realizing that I didn't have the support, say, from my parents, who were obviously not aware, um, and not the ability to process the emotions or the energies I was experiencing in that house. And then I created something that is was like a, a ghost. Um, that I then took with myself through my life. I was literally haunted and until I released that, I was terrified of the dark as an adult. Um, and that made a very big difference. And it was interesting to realize the things that haunt us are often the things we create ourselves through our interpretation, through our situations. Um, but that makes it a lot less terrifying and it makes us feel a lot more empowered. So if a disembodied spirit shows up in your notes, please do not freak out. You probably are not actually haunted by a spirit in any way. If you were, it's released now if it's in your notes. Um, but you probably were not dragging some disembodied spirit with you. This is like a hologram that you created or that somebody created for you and you inherited. Um, but it's released now and you can be free of the hold of that haunting. <laughs>